Hi, my name is John Nelson. I'm the commission pastor for High Long Presbyterian Church in St. Albans. Uh, what led me to go through the program uh, was I always felt this urge to preach. I love scripture. I love uh, reading about scripture, telling about scripture. But I was never sure if that's what God was calling me to do or that's something I just wanted myself. I decided the only way to find out was just to put myself out there. Uh, to just go through the program and see. Because I felt like I would never know unless I tried. December of last year, I, I switched from being an ALP to being a commissioned pastor. And I, I love being both. I, I love being an ALP. I love being a commissioned pastor. Whether you're serving as an ALP or a CP, um, it's worth it. Hi, I'm Jenna Taylor, ALPCP and currently Commission Pastor at First Presbyterian Church in South Charleston. I was introduced to the ALPCP program by those in my church that went before me. You ought to do this, they said. Hello, my name is Terry Layton. Uh, I went through the ALPCP program uh, a few years back. And I was led to do that because I saw a need in my church. The fellowship that I was going to needed somebody to, to step up, to get in the pulpit, to preach and teach the Word of God. I wanted to be prepared for that. So I joined the program to learn how to answer that call in my life. Deciding to take the ALP CP training was an extension of my serving on a committee staffed by Susan Sharp Campbell to reinvigorate the Presbytery's training program. The more I experienced the, what that training would include, the stronger became my desire to learn and to be of service to God and the church. In the spring of 2022, our commissioned pastor became gravely ill. Because I was one of the elders at the church, I was asked to fill in to, for him on a couple of occasions. And that meant preaching a sermon. I had no idea how to write a sermon. I had no idea how to deliver a sermon. I was scared. So fast forward to the fall of 2023. I'm completing my second year of the ALP program. Two weeks ago, I walked into the pulpit at my church and I delivered a sermon that I had researched and written. And I spoke those words with some confidence. I couldn't have done that without this training program. Well, one of the best parts of the program is, is the people that you meet, the relationships you develop. Uh, I, I would say I, I could reach out to any of them uh, to this day, but there, there's a couple, three of them that I, I reach out to on a pretty regular basis and we have a special relationship. Uh, I'm really glad that I met these people. If I had any hesitations, it was not about the training, but about the schedule. Could I commit to the full three years? Would I want to be called as a CP? Well, into the second year, I decided that I would take the training that would equip me to be an authorized lay preacher, ALP. Life in retirement was sufficiently full that I couldn't commit to serve a church as a CP. And as time has passed, I am very comfortable with what I've been able to uh, accomplished by occasionally filling in and have been mostly helping with a wonderful group of people out at Sugar Grove Presbyterian Church here near Morgantown. My experience with the program has been that it's, um, you know, I consider it pretty well rounded, you know, given the time frame uh, compared to somebody that's going through seminary. Uh, the hardest part of all this was 
um, just trying to balance the preaching with uh, my family time and my full-time job. But, you know, if you can make it work, it is well worth it. The program is thorough, and it covers a wide range of ministry. It's interesting. There is homework, but the homework is rewarding. It's part of the learning process, and the classes then enhance what you have learned through your homework. You will encounter great books that you will use later on in your ministry. Prepare yourself. Stay prepared. And I would tell you to take good notes. No, take great notes and keep them. The final exam is thorough, but it's not hard if you take it step by step, bit by bit, and take the whole time that you have been given to take it. Do a section, put it away. Do another section, use your notes. It's very gratifying when the course is complete, you've made it. The, the hardest part really just comes down to the time investment that it takes. It, it's not a course to be taken lightly. There is a, there's a big commitment to get through the course. There were times when I thought there's no way I'm going to make it. There's no way I'm going to be able to read all this. There's no way I'm going to be able to write you know, what they want me to write. Uh, but with God's help, I, I did get through it. And uh, I found the time. Uh, the rewarding part that I was able to help fill so many pulpits and preach on Sunday morning for uh, so many of these churches that don't have uh, pastors here in the Presbytery. And it also meant that I got to meet a lot of new people. And, uh, you know, with the ones that uh, it became like a regular uh, pulpit feel, um, month after month after month, it also meant in all these new people, getting to know them, uh, a lot of them became like family. Since graduating, I've become the commission pastor of Marsh Fork Presbyterian in, in Dry Creek, West Virginia. And it has been one of the most rewarding uh, assignments <laughs> of my life. I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. It is, it is a great privilege to be able to, to fill that pulpit. And, and to pastor those people. And being available to fill the pulpit is so very important. Min ministers and pastors need a break and having people who are qualified to step in, enthusiastic people on a Sunday is priceless. You get to travel the state. You get to meet people and share God's love. Blessings have come to me. I enjoy the sermon preparation, the research and analysis, and that has deepened my appreciation for the Bible. So I pray that others in our presbytery will be led to explore this training. New acquaintances will be made, your biblical literacy will be enhanced, You'll be equipped to share God's good news and comfort the afflicted and, as appropriate, afflict the comfortable. May God bless you and thank you. If you feel that God is calling you to speak, then I would encourage you to sign up for this program. It's a real game changer. So if you have an inkling or a desire to go, I, I very well recommend it. Thank you. So if you're thinking about joining this program, I, I recommend you pray for it, pray about it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I pray for you that it'll be a blessing for you that it, is, that it has been for me. Do it, and you will always look back and be glad that you did. <laughs>